Well, you've complained about broken water fountains strewn about Richlands parks, and even if you did find one that worked, it probably wasn't in the best condition. Gina Lazar learned just how much it's going to cost to fix them all, and here's a hint: tens of thousands of dollars. Hole's gone. This is gone. There's a couple of metal supports that hold the bowl in and now they're just full of garbage. But despite all that, bowl this 30-year-old yeah. fountain still works. As long as they're functioning, they're not going to be high on our list. Phil Pinard is in charge of making sure the parks across the city of Richland are intact. He checks on bathrooms, picnic tables, and more recently, the water fountains. Complaints have rolled into the city about many of them being broken. Having water in a park is always nice. In fact, more than a third of Richland's parks have at least one broken water fountain. For some, it's two. For instance, Leslie Groves has two out of six that don't work. Claybell, Howard Amon, and Columbia Playfields are a few of the parks down to just one working fountain. And Richland has already spent 20 grand replacing broken ones. It will cost more than 40 grand to fix the remaining fountains needing repair. The city of Richland plans to replace all 43 of their old water fountains with these new metal ones over the next five years. So it would be taking things that we've kind of fallen behind on and getting them repaired, replaced. Um, Fixed, you know, whatever needs to be done. Park goer Jens Lund appreciates the improvements, even with the high cost. I think that it's nice anytime the money goes to support the community, gives back to the people who pay the taxes around here and all that kind of good stuff. Can you lay down? Roll over. In Richland, Gina Lazara, Action News. Now, each new water fountain will cost the city $4,000. There could be an extra cost if Richland contracts out the installation.